The sacrament of confession is one of the most remarkable experiences a human being can have. Knowing that we are weak and sinful, we can go to God with the help of a trained spiritual guide and have our sins completely wiped away, which is why the Church requires every Catholic to attend at least once a year. Right? Technically speaking, no, actually. The reality, believe it or not, is that while the sacrament is always open to someone with a penitential heart, some people never actually have to go to confession. What does the Church actually say regarding the frequency of confession and how often should we go? This is Catholicism in Focus. If you were to ask a group of Catholics how often one should go to confession, chances are the majority would give the same answer. All Catholics are required to attend once per year. It's an answer that's understandable and yet technically wrong. The reason that people say this is, well, because that's what the Catechism says. You shall confess your sins at least once a year. Taken at face value, that would seem to be pretty clear with no way to interpret this teaching in any other way. But as I always say on this channel, we don't take things at face value alone. If we want to understand the theology of the Church, we have to look at where it comes from and how it developed. In 1551, the Council of Trent taught that the faithful should go to confession yearly. The precept of confession should be complied with at least once a year by all and each when they have attained to the years of discretion. Again, it seems pretty clear that everyone is required to go to confession at least once per year. But why? The Council doesn't elaborate because the Council wasn't proposing anything new, but rather admits in that same chapter that it was merely reiterating the canon proposed at the Fourth Lateran Council 300 years earlier. All the faithful of both sexes shall, after they have reached the age of discretion, faithfully confess all their sins at least once a year to their own parish priest and perform to the best of their ability the penance imposed, receiving reverently at least at Easter the sacraments of the Eucharist, unless perchance at the advice of their own priest they may for a good reason abstain for a time from its reception. While seemingly the same canon as Trent, a decree aimed at requiring the sacrament of penance, its context, both in history and the Council, reveals a more important underlying purpose. Reconciliation is required because of its relationship to the Eucharist. At that time of the Council, reception of the Eucharist was extremely infrequent, with some people not receiving for years at a time. This naturally was seen to be a problem for the Church, and so the Council declared a rule requiring that the faithful receive the Eucharist at least once per year during the Easter season. But since you can't receive the Eucharist in a state of mortal sin, it naturally followed that if there was a requirement to receive the Eucharist, there must be a complementary requirement to receive the sacrament of penance. You can't have one without the other. Hence why it's said that one must go to confession at least once per year, not as an end in itself regardless of the circumstances, but as a preparation for the Eucharist. And yet, admittedly, that interpretation is not entirely clear from the text alone, and some could just as easily interpret it in another way. It doesn't say that confession is a nice preparation for Eucharist. Two ecumenical councils have said that we must confess all of our sins yearly. So how do we come to the conclusion that I'm presenting, that confession is not actually required for each person every year? The answer, plain and simple, is found in canon law. Canon 920 states, After being initiated into the Most Holy Eucharist, each of the faithful is obliged to receive Holy Communion at least once a year. This precept must be fulfilled during the Easter season unless it is fulfilled for a just cause at another time during the year. There's no arguing with that. Eucharist is required for all initiated Christians at least once per year during Easter. This is what Lateran 4 and Trent both say, and so it makes sense. But what about the Sacrament of Reconciliation, then? A member of the Christian faithful is obliged to confess in kind and number all grave sins committed after baptism and not yet remitted directly through the keys of the Church nor acknowledged in individual confession, of which the person has knowledge after diligent examination of conscience. It is recommended to the Christian faithful that they also confess venial sins. After having reached the age of discretion, each member of the faithful is obliged to confess faithfully his or her grave sins at least once a year. Notice the distinction here. Grave sins must be confessed once per year, but it is only recommended that venial sins be confessed. In other words, if you don't commit a mortal sin, according to canon law, you never have to go to confession. 
The reason for this, once again, has everything to do with the Eucharist. You can't receive the Eucharist in a state of mortal sin, but you can with venial sins. In fact, receiving the Eucharist forgives us of our venial sins. Holy Communion separates us from sin. For this reason, the Eucharist cannot unite us to Christ without at the same time cleansing us from past sins and preserving us from future sins. As bodily nourishment restores lost strength, so the Eucharist strengthens our charity, which tends to be weakened in daily life. And this living charity wipes away venial sins. This point cannot be reiterated enough. Too often we find in our church, just as we did in the Middle Ages, an approach to the Eucharist as a prize for the perfect, something that one must earn by being without sin. The faithful obsess over their sins, believing that they must go to confession before receiving the Eucharist, allowing venial sins to get between them and Jesus. This is just not true. If you've committed a mortal sin, yes, you need to be reconciled before receiving the Eucharist, but never forget that the Eucharist is an act of reconciliation. It is food for the hungry, medicine for the sick, a field house for the wounded. You do not need to go to confession every single time you sin in order to receive the Eucharist. Technically, some people don't ever have to go to confession. What Lateran IV taught, Trent reiterated, and the precept codified, is not that one must go to confession for its own right once per year no matter what. Rather, the Church teaches that one must do whatever is necessary to receive the Eucharist once per year, which sometimes means going to confession. But just because you don't have to go doesn't mean that you shouldn't. Anyone who has sinned and has a contrite heart can confess their sins, and the Church strongly encourages it. While one's sins may be removed just as effectively in the sacraments of Eucharist and reconciliation, the latter provides the added benefit of counsel from a priest, helping to form the penitent's conscience and providing practical advice for overcoming sin. This is simply not possible with the Eucharist. While confession shouldn't be confused with spiritual direction and is by no means a replacement for adequate counseling, two things that are often needed in the case of trauma or habitual sins, the very act of speaking with another human being, naming one's sins out loud, getting assurance from another that you're on the right track or that you're not on the right track, all of these things benefit us as sinners, even if our sins are only venial. Because really, even if they're only venial, they're still sins keeping us from God. We should do everything we can to overcome them. And so we return to our original question. How often should one go to confession? Really, it depends. The Church does not mandate anything more than this, and it really comes down to a question of particular spirituality. Some, like Pope John Paul II, encourage daily confession as a form of examination of conscience. Others think that confession should be more of a special occasion, taking place no more than a few times of year, only when serious conversions take place. Still, others recommend something in the middle, weekly, monthly. Me? I think the sacrament should be celebrated whenever your sins get in the way of being a disciple of Christ. If you find that the guilt of you having sinned holds you back, leading you to more sin, and you want nothing more than to return to God with your whole heart, then it's time. Find a priest, open your heart, and let God heal you with his grace. <laughs>